Welcome back to Eternal Darkness. I'm thinking what we probably need to do next is go to the library and see if we can find Montarok's heart, which is apparently behind a book. Or a comic book, as it kind of looked like. It's okay, Alex. Don't <laughs> worry about what was that. <laughs> was it a scroll flying by? Huh. Yeah. I'm like pretty certain that wasn't there before. That's so out of place. Alex discovers a pulp novel written by one Dr. Edwin Lindsay amongst the books on the shelf. This is where the Tome of Eternal Darkness indicated that something of value was hidden behind this book. That was written by Dr. Edwin Lindsay, the person we played as. Huh. Hello. With the book removed, a secret cache is revealed. Inside is the heart of Montarok, encased in glass to protect the world from its corrosive energies. Let's take it. Just a noise, right? <laughs> the scroll just keeps going back and forth. Okay, I don't know. Let's just go out here. Um, we're supposed to... I remember they mentioned something about, like, uh... Going to... I think it was related to the... Heart or the essence, as it's apparently called here, the essence of Montarok. I thought they talked about taking it to the source of light or something like that. I'm guessing that's in here, right? I don't think I can do anything with this at the moment. But I'm guessing it has something to do with this focused light. Or something. Okay. Uh, maybe we can go through the glass now? Or perhaps go through the hidden thing in the wall? The only two places I can think of at this point. That symbol. I mean, don't we have it? Oh, I guess I needed to spell it, don't I? Right, so it's blue. Dispelling blue is done with green. I think I already have Dispel assigned to green. Only problem is I don't remember which one it is actually assigned to. It's deep pad down. Bingo! And there's a floating page. As the magical window fades away, the piece of parchment that the maiden was holding is left behind, floating in midair. It appears to be a chapter page. Heresy. that staff is just like a couple whole spines. gonna have to fight that. Okay, before I look at the page, let's see if there's something I can do here. It seems like a device is supposed to activate it. I don't think it's magic. I could try to dispel it, but... But I don't think that has anything to do with it. 
Doesn't seem magical. I don't know, it's almost like I just need... Actually... If it's just wallpaper, can I just cut the wallpaper out with the sword? Maybe I just use the sword. Oh, I can't even... I can't even actually use the sword. Mm -mm. Also, I unequipped it somehow. I feel like I just need to, like, cut the wallpaper. Or activate its opening with some sort of device. Hmm. Well, I guess it's not happening anytime soon. In Europe, during the time of the Inquisition, paranoia and corruption ran deep. With the fear of devilry running rampant, the ancients' corruption extended far beyond mortal knowledge, corrupting all that could be corrupted. My researches uncovered an interesting incident. A Franciscan monk named Paul Luther was traveling through the region of Amiens during the witch hunts of the Inquisition. Now, under martial law, the Inquisition prevented anyone from leaving the town and its nearby cathedral. For everyone was suspect. Welcome to Oublier Cathedral, Brother Luther. I'm glad that our sacred order can bestow hospitality on our Franciscan brethren. Well, they're a demon. I shall not impose, Excellency. I merely request lodging and a viewing of the sacred relic. The hand of Jude. Many have traveled far and even risked their lives for a glimpse of the hallowed relic's true splendor. Of course, it would be wise to keep quiet during your stay. The Inquisition is here for a reason, brother. We seek to purge the deviancy from this town. I am sure that will not be a problem. Amiens appears to be a peaceful hamlet. It appears to be. But deviancy is secreted in the most deceptive places, which I believe is the case with Amiens. Then I wish you luck in your search. The Inquisition does not need luck, Brother Luther. Faith and purity are our guides. Meditation Rod. Heals me, I'm guessing. Small staff used as a focus for meditative prayer. Using it will allow Paul to meditate and regain some lost sanity. Oh. Just gonna go up here for no particular reason. I probably should follow them, shouldn't I? Love of God! God! Help! Come quickly! A murder! A murder most foul! What heresy is this? I... I found him lying here. Dead. I called the guards. Ah. Is this our first suspect? Make sure no one touches the body. It must be examined for signs of devilry. As for this man, make sure he doesn't leave the cathedral. We will question him later. But... Hold your tongue, Franciscan, or it might bring my wrath upon thee. Who is to say that you did not commit this murder? If you trust in the Almighty, and you are indeed innocent, then you will have nothing to fear. Hmm. 
The painting captures Paul's attention. A small emerald, disguised as part of the painting, glints in the candlelight as though it has some value beyond being a precious gem. Disguised as part of the painting, not very well. Are you here to pass sentence on me? No, I'm here to free you. You are in incredible danger. This cathedral used to be a place of peace. Now many strange things happen here. I don't want you to end up like the others. What do you mean? The body you found was Brother Andrew, and he was killed to protect a secret. We can't talk about it here. Find me in the bell tower later, and I shall aid thee further. Why are you releasing me? I don't want to see another innocent die like your Franciscan brethren. I have seen Brother Andrew make numerous entries into his journal. This may contain the answers to the cathedral's dark secrets. <laughs> what can I do? If I were you, I'd run. They will surely hunt me if I run. This has to stop. Then be it on your own head, Luther. Find Brother Andrew's journals if you can. He spent time in the old tower investigating. I believe I can find the key to the old tower in one of my stores. Later, come find me in the bell tower, and I will give it to you. Be swift. We can't evade them forever. This character is very, very lucky. Well, I guess sort of unlucky to be in this predicament. But lucky that there's someone on their side. <laughs> Such a ridiculous little mystery. Run! Well, I, I can't run, they'll hunt me. Okay then, look at the journal that I've seen them make numerous entries into that has all sorts of details about the old, dark, evil cathedral. We'll find the mystery and do something. Frame fragment of written verse, it is in Latin and makes references mostly to diabolical entities and how man is dominated by them if he strays from the rights of protection. A somber portrait of a monk stares icily from the wall. Something about those grim staring eyes sparks doubt and suspicion in Paul. Is this the face of a holy man? I mean, the person that welcomed you here is obviously the face of a demon. Well, I can punch at least. And of course I can do damage with the... The, uh, what is it called? Force something? What is it called? The damage field? Yeah, damage field plus that unknown spell that may or may not be an AoE. So I might have to kind of rely on magic. Um, alright, so I'm supposed to come to the bell tower. I just saved it, I don't need to save it again. I'm just worried that I might have to, like, use stealth. I might get caught. Like, is there anybody around here? Doesn't seem like it. Is the body still here? The altar is bereft of holy adornment. No crucifix, no Bible, no sacrament of any kind. Paul is disturbed by this sight. What faith does the order practice? Are these stairs? Ah.
<laughs> Whoa, crossbow bolts. Where's the crossbow? The personal effects of a priest are scattered across the shelves. Rosary beads, a crucifix, and a variety of other small holy items. Paul believes they must have been Brother Andrews. Desk bears a leather-bound book. Oh, the diary. The Spartan bed shows how the Order treats its visitors. There's no sign of the Order's own quarters, and this chills Paul to the bone. The only man that doesn't need a bed is a dead one. And the person who spoke to was definitely dead. It's the Fortress of the Reliquaries, dating back to the late 13th century, exquisitely illuminated and bound with hard leather. Doubtless, many obscure orders requiring more income than can be garnered from the tithe resorted to forging ancient relics to bring people from outside their region to their dioceses, and thus became more lucrative. While it could be said that a false hope is still hope, relics such as Cuthbert's Jawbone, the Hand of Jude, and the infamous Thighbone Flute of Connaught, while being forgeries, deceive the righteous unjustly. Their existence as true relics is the utmost heresy. So wait, the Hand of Jude? I think that's what I came here to see, right? Is that a fake then? Also, was that the diary? Didn't seem like a diary at all. Because I don't think it was. But this is Brother Andrew's place, right? The person who died? Is that a morning star? Near the organ, a steel mace is mounted on the back wall by means of a display armature. Cool. A priest with an emerald, some crossbow bolts, and a mace. The bellows mechanism supplies the organ upstairs with air. It requires an expert hand and attention to keep in working order. Oh, those things. The... I forgot what they're called. Things that teleport you. See, that's why I love fixed camera angles. Ah. wine cask used for maturing wine. The wine inside this one must be very strong for it seeps through the cask, filling the air with a heady aroma. Wait, there's nothing in here? There must be like a special one of these, because they I hear them knocking on it, like testing it to see whether it has contents. There's probably one that's special, huh? Whoa. Knocking on this cask results in a hollow thud. It's empty, but why when all the others are full of maturing wine? Aha! Uh -huh. Holy crap! Well, this escalated quickly. Um, it's red. Hold on, I'm trying to remember. Red is... Green is good against blue, blue is good against red. Yeah, so I want blue. imbue some blue.
Now we'll sign. Blue. Chant item. I could also try a damage field, which I probably should do. Whoa, that hurt a lot. Come on, come this way. Yes. <laughs> it is actually doing damage, right? I believe it is. Although it is green, which is probably not the best color, huh? Let's try casting it again. Again, I guess. I guess I'll switch it over to the right color. Oh yeah, there's also the trapper. Could I summon a trapper and just teleport that thing to another dimension? Would it just never come back? There's no way, that'd be too easy. Blue. Damage field, there we go. No, 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 no. Fin okay, because I'm not finishing it. There's a massive granite vault carved with hideous boss reliefs. Scratch marks running along the floor make it appear that the crypt has been moved many times. Okay. So probably stairs down there or something. Hidden in the alcoves of this mausoleum lie the remains of departed monks. Some have turned to dust, others have grotesquely withered, leaving husks of bone and leathery skin. Oh, I need three gems to put here, right? And then it probably opens. Has three small indentations adorning its top, yep. Run! So I found where I need to go, but I missed something. Which is not surprising, because I kind of just ran here and ignored a lot of possible ways to go. I can't save? Darkness is coming. Is it? Where? Seems pretty safe to me. Still can't save. Huh. The organ's over here. Playing the organ is a daunting challenge for someone like Paul who has no musical talent. Paul could probably play the organ if there was some music to play. Sounds like I'm gonna need to do that. Between the organ thing downstairs and that little hint. Heavy wooden chest sits against the room's wall, appears to be old and worn. Ah. Let's try this thing out. Okay, not too slow to reload. Definitely not fast, though. Mm -hmm. 
The rack carries robes and cloaks for ceremonial, ceremonial use. As Paul draws the robes back, something tumbles from inside. Oh. Podium key. That's a fucked up image. The woodcut shows an act of blasphemy. A host of demons prey upon humans like they were playthings. Disemboweled by mocking demons, eaten or tortured by other carnal deviant acts. So, podium key. Where exactly is the podium? Is it this? I didn't see anywhere to put a key in here. Wait, what's that? Oh, more bolts. The cathedral's tabernacle is fashioned from aged varnished mahogany. Stores are closed and there doesn't appear to be any way of opening them manually. Oh, here we go. This must be the podium. Diary page lies inside the open drawer. Diary of Brother Andrew, page one. I have finally arrived at Amiens, and my pilgrimage to see the Hand of Jude draws to a close. I cannot wait to lay eyes upon this sacred relic. My journey here has been arduous, and it shall be good to relax for a while in this peaceful village. Amiens is full of good people, strong in their faith and their role in our world. If the blight of witchcraft is present in this world, then I doubt it is in Amiens. Paul notes that the door to the old tower is locked. Perhaps a custodian might have the key. Ah. So that goes to the old tower. Okay, so... It's gotta be something back here, right? Oh, this is just my jail cell. Ah, oh, the upper floor of the cathedral. Zombie on the ground. Alright, let's try the crossbow. Okay, crossbow sucks. If it doesn't kill them in one hit and it's relatively slow to reload, like why would I not just do this? Yeah, Paul, get him. Paul's natural priestly instincts are kicking in. is nervous about ringing the bell, fearing his own capture. It is the custodian's task to ring the bell at appropriate times. Perhaps he will be by later to ring it. Should Paul ring the bell anyway? I have no idea what else to do, so sure. I probably should have saved it first. Oh, 
Oh, good. Ah, Brother Luther, not a moment too soon. As you have noticed, dread things inhabit this place. Shambling corpses, and worse. There is darkness at work here, in the midst of the Inquisition. I suspect it is worse than that, but I have no proof. Brother Andrew knew this also, and paid the price for it. Why are you telling me this? Perhaps you can finish off what Andrew started. Take this key. It unlocks the old tower. It has been sealed off since the Inquisition arrived. I intend to uncover the truth behind this. If you manage to uncover the source of darkness, return here, and I will do everything I can to help. Till then, brother, may your faith protect you. Time for the old tower.